Today we're going to show you the power of the DataCap platform by combining the Flex application with an APT application, giving us the ability for dynamic line items, all self-configured by the users. So this is a document type, and we're going to go ahead and configure it using the line item configurator. Uh, this lets you add fields, much like the Flex application. And we see that we already have date, and we have a few more of the other fields here. Uh, there's a field for bank reference that we do not have already. So we're going to go ahead and add in the bank reference field. We're going to make it alphanumeric. Actually, we're going to make it numeric. Uh, only numbers are allowed in this field. And we know that it is 15 uh, numeric digits long. So this will help in the filtering and validation. Uh, we're going to give it a max length of 15. And we can also define on the UI how long the UI box is. So we're going to say it's 160 pixels wide. We're going to go ahead and create the document type for business checking. We're going to create it. We're going to add it to our layouts. And this is where you define which fields are part of the header of the document and which fields are part of the line items. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add in a couple header fields and a couple line item fields. And on this screen, you also have the ability to define which fields are part of the filter for this document type. So we can see that our line items over on the left-hand side have a date, an amount, a description, and a bank reference. And we're going to make a couple of these uh, be the filter criteria. So by the line item filter, it means that these fields must be present and in their correct format for that line to be considered a valid line item. Uh, other, other line items that don't match the filter criteria will be discarded from the line item detail collection. We're going to go ahead and add in a couple header fields. And now we're going to go ahead and pick the document type, just like you do in, in the Flex application. And we hit the Change Doc Type button, which generates our header fields. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to add in a comment, and we're going to zone the main field as well. We're going to go ahead and map the first line item of a line item detail, and then we're going to hit the Find Details button, like you would in the Accounts Table application. Uh, we're going to go ahead and zone the description and bank reference. So now it's searching the application for line items, running Validate, the dynamic validates from the fields, as well as checking what filter criteria are present. We see here that the bottom line items, uh, they were in numeric values, but they didn't have a length of 15. So we're just going to quickly go fix our line item logic right now using the configurator by making that field both a min and max of 15, knowing that that's criteria for it. So in traditional DataCap applications, this would take some coding and uh, it would have to go through testing, and it would be a, a lot more intensive than what you're about to see here. So we're going to go ahead and remap that first line item. And then you will see that this document has, has not been filtered correctly. Uh, anybody that has worked with the accounts payable application uh, can understand the powerfulness of these runtime dynamic filters. So we're just going to go down to the bottom of the collection and show you that we got all of our line items, uh, all the validations passed, all the fields are, are light blue. For this document, really what I want you to take notice of will be the dynamic line item filtering of the discount line item. So uh, some documents contain things like shipping or erroneous line items that are usually typical by vendor. So some vendors include comments in their line items or things like shipping. So in this document, we're just going to show you how to really get rid of a line item column by, by fingerprint, really. Uh, so we're just going to filter out the discount line item just to show you the uh, capability. So all we do is we put in the word discount, and we hit find details again, and it removes the line item. We can take it out, hit find details again, and it puts it back. 
We're going to take you through an, another mapping of another document type that has different fields. Uh, it's already pre-set up, so we have date, amount, and description. The date and the amount are the line item filters. And we're going to go ahead and just map the document. So we're going to select the doc type. So the doc, type are, doc types are stored as the fingerprint class, so we can find them on uh, future uh, ingestions as well. So all of your standard cleanup rules and other data gap logic is possible on these dynamic fields, very much like Flex. So we're going to go ahead and map the date. You'll also notice that the date will get converted into a proper date format. When zoning the amount, we have to actually make the zone a little larger because the field is much larger further down in the document. We're going to go ahead, hit Find Details. It's going to scan through the 10 or 11 pages and filter out the erroneous line items. We've also added a line item index to the, to the panel so that the operators can easily find uh, errors that are present and they know which line items uh, to find the errors on, just to make your life a little easier. You see that we've captured all of our line items. We're going to submit to the next document. And this document, really what I want to show you here, is we've added some context menus to uh, show the error messages of a particular field, as well as give operators the ability to remove a mapping. So if a zone was accidentally clicking keyed, uh, they can remove the mapping. Now this is a line item, or this is an image fix filter, uh, basically saying for this image in the future uh, to run line removal on it. So since image fix settings are never a one-size-fits-all. Uh, we have to give operators the ability to clean up certain images. I hope this has helped demonstrate the power of the DataCap platform and the power of dynamic line items. Uh, this takes the power of the platform and puts it into the hands of the operators. If you'd like any more information, please contact us at sales at magilandsoftware.net. Uh, we also welcome any feedback or enhancements that you think might help drive data cap opportunities.